Hello everybody, I'm William Ryan Dalton from Table Nights Entertainment. How you guys doing? Uh, we gonna be playing some Nekopara today. Uh, Aaron won't be joining me today, sadly. He won't be able to make it to these recordings. However, I do have a very uh, special side guest, very good friend of mine, IRL. Um, why don't you introduce yourself? Hello, I'm Kayla. This is Kayla. She's a good friend of mine, and uh, she has really wanted to play some Nekopara, and so have I. So we're going to do that. Um, heads up, there's a link in the description to where you guys can get the game. Um, available on Steam. It's also available at Dimpsoft for you naughty boys out there who want to get the, the uncensored version, uh, which is what we'll be playing today. So we'll get right into the game. See some itty boobies. All right. Thank you very much. I'm heading out. I'm excited. Are you excited? <laughs> I'm very excited. Um, super excited. Phew. This should be most of the boxes. I wiped the sweat off my forehead with my arm as the moving truck uh, disappeared from view. Although it is early April and only the beginning of spring, today's weather is quite nice. It was even a bit hot. Well, it's a good day for a new start. I like this guy. I like <laughs> this guy. He's very positive. I like, I like the positivity. Uh, I turned my head to look at the empty bakery, which... Uh, which didn't even have a sing, uh, oh, any signage yet. I, I was about to say. Slowly zoom in on Twitch. <laughs> well, you gotta have the slow zoom. It's all dramatic, you know. Like you know, it's like oh one of those, God. like one of those, uh, you know, superhero movies. You gotta have that slow dramatic zoom. Uh, the brand new exterior wall had a western look with a uh, predominantly white and brown motif. Because Damn. Because you know we want all that chocolate. They bringing out the word motif. Look at them being being fancy. all fancy. <laughs> uh, there was also a large window which uh, lets lots of sunlight. It's always good. To have. Uh, and finally, there are the words that display the name of the bakery. French word. La Soleil. La Soleil. There we go. See, he's already helping me out. <laughs> I took French. All right. Uh, instead of the proper French uh, article, le, it was la soleil, meaning the sun. That's pretty cool. I didn't know mm -hmm. that. Learn, learn, learn some stuff about French. Uh, this was a nod towards the name of the shop of someone I admired. Uh, now that I am, <laughs> now that I'm my own or on I'm my on own, own, I have to do my best. You can tell this is so Asian. <laughs> no one's no one's this positive in America mm, ever. I'm just gonna murmur to myself now and I, not be totally inconspicuous at all. I softly murmured to myself. Oh. Yeah, because that's not weird. Uh, <laughs> from here on out, no one no one would tell me what to do. Cause I'm my own boss. <laughs> I was going to start completely anew, despite the uh, stature of my family's name. And everything that had happened up until now. Ooh, secret, mysterious backstory. Mm, booby. I alone would decide my path and take responsibility for what I do. In exchange for the freedom, I uh, I can't blame anyone else for what happens. That's very <laughs> true. Wow, that like that's too real to life, there, man. I'm gonna have to ask you to calm calm down. Still, although it was a bit, Hi. I was a bit worried. Sorry, I'm very bad at reading. Uh, I can't read. <laughs> I can't read. Um, the thought of what lay ahead may made me break into the pile. Oh. All right. In any case, I better get all these things cleaned up. I took a deep breath and got uh, my spirits back up. You mean your spirits weren't already up? <laughs> Jesus, you're so positive. God. 
I like this guy though. I, I enjoyed positivity. Uh, I stepped into the, to the bleh, bleh. I stepped <laughs> into the new smelling bakery. <laughs> the bleh, bleh, bleh. Which, by the way, guys, uh, we do have the uh, voices disabled because we plan to be reading everything. Um, usually, there is oh, voice God. acting for the majority <laughs> of this game. Just throwing that out there. Hmm, what's with all of these boxes? Oh, sorry, what's with this big box? My bad. Uh, in front of me was a large box I didn't recognize. Apparently, you know, it has a bunch of caution labels on it, too. In fact, there were two of them. Fragile. Delicate. I'm assuming that's what's written on the board. Uh, absolutely this side up. If thrown, your company will be in trouble. What the f- <laughs> Um, the warnings were going overboard. They were getting annoying. Uh, even if these are baking supplies, I don't remember buying anything quite like this. First box. off, they were boxes that looked like they came from my house. If these were uh, for the bakery, there's no way I wouldn't remember buying them. There were no tags for the moving company either, and all there was, all there was, all there was was warning labels. Were those little warning labels? Thank Sorry. you again. Can't read well. <laughs> I can't. Read. Um, well. I'll know for sure once I open the... You boobies. It's you! Huh? Okay, so <laughs> this is a common motif for visual novels that you'll have the dot, 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 dot. Um, and you have to just go... Oh, <laughs> so, uh, how about we make a rule that every time... Um, Every time there's silence, we have to make, like, a very dramatic gasp. <laughs> See, I told you, there's a lot of just dot dot dots in these kind of games. Oh, it's just a cat. Huh? Just a troublesome cat. Jeez. Thank goodness. Looks like that fooled him. That was good. Too good. Better be careful, Meow. Like that would fool me! What are you doing, Chocola? <laughs> <laughs> um, the monk Nassie, right, Master? We just saw each other at home yesterday. You know that. Uh, well... That is true, chocolate guesses. <laughs> oh, more importantly than that, this and us. Those movers were really mean. So they were picking up chocolate, right? And they said, this box is heavy, so be careful with it. Chocolate wanted to hiss at them all of a sudden. Chocolate really did. Chocolate did her best to control her temper, but chocolate was fuming, you know, absolutely fuming. Well, compared to the rest of the things, you are heavy. She ignored that. <laughs> Chocolate puffed out her cheeks. You could say that <laughs> she was always happy-go-lucky. Or rather, she preoccupied herself with only what was in front of her. Not that I like you, no. <laughs> no, trust me, I've played a little bit of this game. She is not the Tsundare character of this she game. She acts like it, though, from what I've seen so Oh, far. God. Oh, God, no. Trust me. <laughs> Well, I guess that's how you would describe Chocola. Well, I guess... Er, well, I was getting ready to move. Uh, I didn't wonder why I... I did wonder why I didn't see you. I'll get it eventually. <laughs> I kind of want to voice act this do one it, for Do it, do it! Um... <laughs> hey... Long time no see, Master. <laughs> My nose was itchy because of the inside of the moving truck was dusty. Why is Vanilla here too? Wherever Chocolate is, 
Oh, sorry. Wherever Chocula is, I am too. <laughs> I'm got. I'm gonna regret doing that voice for her. <laughs> Besides, cat girls don't like... Or cat girls dislike tight spaces. Don't dislike. Oh, that's true. <laughs> also, they said this box is heavy, so be careful with it. In regards to me too. So is also mad. Just steaming. Again, huh? In any case, Chocola, Vanilla, get out of there. Uh, I was at my wit's end with the large boxes that had suddenly shown up. Anywho, Chocola and Vanilla get out of their boxes. So yeah, welcome, welcome to the main characters of the game. They're, <laughs> they're my favorites so far. They're the only ones I've met, but I freaking adore them so much. They're wonderful. Uh, why is no one picking up the phone? Just what is Shigure doing? I hung up after trying to call my little sister. There was no way that Chocola and Vanilla could have gotten mixed in with the rest of the boxes in the first place. On the outside, cat girls look almost like humans. They can understand words and can talk just like us. Uh, but more than humans, cat girls were closer to normal cats? Okay. Uh, after all, cat girls had ears and tails, just like cats do. Uh, they were genetically modified humanoids. Uh, humanoid cats that were commonly referred to as cat girls. Getting a history lesson up in here. These days, cat girls fit into society. Uh, as pets in uh, families or partners to humans. Oh damn, they just went out straight and says like, Yo, you can buy a freaking face... For See that's that's but the thing. Having to screw the actual no, thing. that's the thing that I think is hilarious is that they're basically sex slaves. <laughs> Some basically, people buy them strictly for that purpose. Basically, it's almost bestiality, but not. Huh. You could you could say that. Yeah, it's it's about as close as you can get without getting. Uh, my little sister really loves to dote on cat girls. So our family had six, including chocolate and vanilla. In any case, they couldn't have uh, mailed themselves all on their own. Mailing living things through the post would be impossible for one uh, for one thing. Uh, there, there's no way my parents would have helped with this either. Thus, I could only guess that this was somehow Shigure's do. I guess, or I see, so Shigure was the an accomplice then. <clears throat> Okay, so you see this screen? Remember how? Okay, so we were going through the settings for this game when we were setting up for recording. Oh my god! And there is amazing. a setting for the bounciness of the chests of the sprites. And by my friend's suggestion, she said to crank it up to max bounciness. So I love it already. I apologize, I love but it already. Uh, that's just the way we're gonna roll for now. All righty. Your turn. <laughs> oh my god, I'm getting too distracted. Yeah, this is a really pretty home. Chocola really likes the smell of new bedding and furniture. Oh my god. Yeah, now you know why she's my favorite character. <laughs> I just said that. Mew. It's bigger than it looks. Perfect for Master's abilities. Vanilla over here. Let's take a look at that room. Time to explore. From where, <laughs> uh, from where it is, I suspect that's the bedroom. Master's new bed must be there. Yeah, we can't miss that. Let's go snuggle in it. Snuggle time. Snuggling acknowledged. This is fine by me. <laughs> With that decided, let's go. <laughs> Don't get out of control and hurt yourselves. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay, I actually do kind of enjoy her voice sounding like that. <laughs> it's such an odd contrast. <laughs> it really is. And I apologize for my voice cracking. I'm still getting over it. It's really cold. Yeah, it's uh, it's really cold when we're recording. Unnamed specific time that we're recording. <laughs> Winner. Um, without any ill intentions, the two cat girls uh, were off and running. Uh, well, 
the bakery did have living quarters on the second floor, so I was worried about them causing a ruckus around here. Of course, they aren't young cat girls anymore, either, so I shouldn't have to worry about them getting out of control too. Well, besides that, I looked up uh, an address in my phone's address book. Mina Duku. Mina Duki. Mina Duki. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, uh, Mina Duki. When, when when I read that, I just think Mean Duki. Like there's an angry shit going on somewhere. <laughs> Mina Duki residence. Uh, well, we'll find out more about the Mina Duki residence next time. Uh, thank you guys for joining us for the first episode of Nekapara. It's been really great. Um. From all of us at Table Nights Entertainment, roll, roll on. on. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, donate to Child's Play and Game Changers. And from all of us here at Table Nights Entertainment, roll on.